Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 45 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Today, I have plans to go on an adventure. Uh, but before I do, I want to try something out. Uh, so I've got this nice portable tank right here, which I'm going to immediately replace uh, with this tank uh, that we will put in that mode so he can drain his experience like he's supposed to. Cool. Uh, and then I'll probably, ding, upgrade him to Signalum as well. Um, so, I'm surprised I have, I want to say so little, but I do have 162 buckets worth of essence. I ran my, um, my Enderman generator between episodes because I was getting low on Ender Pearls, and we are now up to 360, or 336 Ender Pearls, so that's pretty cool. How are you doing, by the way? Uh, you're at 28, so we got nothing by way of Erodium. Thank you. I have to hit that thing with the acceleration wand a little bit more, I feel like. Uh, what I'd like to do today is uh, check out the Twilight Forest. But before I do that, I decided to get myself some fancy diamond armor. Yay! Uh, and since we're getting fancy diamond armor, I figured maybe I should enchant it as well, just to make it a little bit glowy and better. Uh, because I want to really try and stick to the, the concept of, like, not going super overpowered in tools with the Twilight Forest. So I'm going to avoid using my Ring of Flight for any of the puzzles and stuff that exist in there. Because there's a lot of stuff that having flight will trivialize. So by avoiding doing that, uh, I will uh, you know, be able to enjoy and experience the puzzles in the way they were meant to be enjoyed rather than just flying through them all. right? Um, so we'll probably avoid using that uh, a bunch. I'll have my slime sling. I want to be able to get around easily because I don't want to just like have to like walk everywhere really slowly. But at the same time, I don't want to have like trivialized weapons. Uh, the dire sword here, I'll bring that in. And it's not super powerful. I, I haven't put any like quartz or damage upgrades on it, so it shouldn't be a uh, too bad. Uh, what I do want to try out though is enchanting my gear. And normally you'd enchant with a vanilla enchanting table, but I don't think I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is play with some of the enchanting mechanics of industrial foregoing, which, by the way, uses mob essence to enchant things. Hintity hint hint, maybe that's why I just grabbed my portable tank full of mob essence. Uh, so there's a few enchantment things. Uh, the enchantment sorter will let you, as it probably sounds like, uh, sort enchanted items from non-enchanted items. That sounds pretty cool and something we might want to play with later. Um, the uh, next thing is the enchantment extractor. What this does is, uh, given an enchanted item and a book, it will extract the enchantment off the item and put it on the book. Nice. That sounds pretty cool. Um, and uh, the other option is the enchantment applicator, uh, which basically works like an anvil, which will, uh, given it, it basically works like an anvil, right? You, you, you give it the book and the item and it'll enchant it. Or you can get the industry, the enchantment factory. And what this does is it basically acts like an enchanting table, but it uses essence instead of uh, experience. Neat. Uh, so we, we might, like, my, we have some bows. Um, I guess we haven't really gotten a lot of, we haven't gotten a lot of stuff here. Uh, we've got bladerang. <laughs> uh, we don't have a lot of armor, do we? I mean, cause I am letting this run down here, obviously, and I'm not filtering out any stuff anymore. Though, what did I do with it? Did I leave... I should probably sleep through the night here. Did I leave my chest thingy that had all those enchant... all those different types of armor and whatnot back at my old base? I wonder. I need to pop over there and see if I did. I did fix my enchant... my, my porter, by the way, so that's a cool time. Bouncy bounce. Whoosh. That is the wrong place. I went to the wrong place, didn't I? I want to go to this one. Hey, cool. The, uh, this stuff has, like, a little, uh, Christmassy theme to it. Alright, so over here, did I leave this thing here full of stuff? I did. Neat. Alright, what, uh, let's, let's grab anything that's enchanted. That has a decent enchant on it. Multi-shot, huh? That sounds cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Is that a mod doing that, or? I don't even know. Uh, but what I'm looking for is armor ones, so unbreaking might be cool. I might not mind having a bow. That sounds cool. Power 2 and multi-shot 2. Uh, yeah, Unbreaking 2 sounds good. Anything else on there? Uh, you've got power. You've got protection on Unbreaking. That would be cool to get. Uh, 
You've got projectile protection. That sounds nifty. Multi-shot, power. What I might do is snag some of these power guys and some of these multi-shot guys. And, like, we can combine the books, right? That might be cool. Okay. Uh, let's take all this home with me. So not as good a haul as I would have hoped for. But that's okay. We'll use a combination of things this episode to get going with it. Uh, so to get really going with the enchantment thing, uh, I'm going to want to probably have uh, the extractor, the applicator, and the factory. So we're going to want three of these. So we're going to want some machine frames times three. And we'll probably, I imagine we're going to be wanting some books. All right. So let's see. What do we got here? Enchantment extractor just needs um, a nether brick and a gold gear. So that, that going, um, while that's cooking, uh, we can look at the enchantment applicator. Just need some anvils and another iron gear. Let me guess, I've never taught you how to make iron gears. That's right, they're easy enough. So we're gonna want nine of these, which will get me the three anvils, which should get me my enchantment applicator cool and then uh the enchanting factory is good to go and then the enchantment extractor should be also good to go provided that i do that neat all right cool extractor applicator and factory nice so let's go pop these dudes now i don't know if this thing Let's check it out, the factory, right? Enchantment factory. So can I specify what, like, what level to do? I don't know. Book, I need a book. Uh, do I need a book or do I need a, a, a book and quill? That's a good question. Enchantment factory. It needs an enchantable item and essence. It will enchant the item just like an enchanting table does. Okay. Uh, it will use three buckets of essence to do a 30 level enchant. So do you need like a table around you is my question, is my main one. Um, so like, if I want, I'm just gonna like temporarily power this with my flux capacitor. Cool. And uh, so maybe you do need a book and quill. Though neither of you seem to want to get shifted into there, so that's cool. Can I not enchant books in here? Input items, essence tank, output items, fluid containers. Okay, so if I did this, nice, that is kind of cool. Um, that's nifty. So that's 32 buckets worth of stuff, right? So you don't want to go in there. Okay. So now if I put my diamond helmet in there, I hesitate to do that. So let's do my iron one first. Uh, let's do my iron chest plate, right? I'm going to put that in there. And hey, that was quick. Unbreaking three and protection three. I And it used three buckets. So it doesn't look like you need to have bookshelves around it, which is kind of cool. Um, and it got me that. So that's nifty. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Uh, and then um, enchantment applicator and enchantment extractor. So if I stick this dude in here and we put this guy in here and these guys, aha! Neat. Cool. So we just got protection three and unbreaking three. Okay, that works. Um, so if I want to get multi shot and power. And then I want to get, I had another one that had multi-shot and power too, didn't I? Did I have two bows like that? Yeah, there it is. Multi-shot. I'll take the unbreaking and power two. Cool. Uh, and maybe I should have like a chest of enchanted books. So what I can kind of do here is just say like, for now, I'm going to put away these bows that I don't need anymore and power one and multi-shot one and that. 
Um, but like what I can do is I can extract enchants that I like out of things. Cool. I like that. Okay. And then let's try. So I don't need book and quills. I just need regular old books. All right. So if I want to get some decent enchants. Um, so like let's say I wanted to get multi-shot and power three. Not that I even know that that's a thing. But we'll find out. Multi-shot goes up to four. That's cool. And power goes what? Power goes up to five. Nice. I may want uh, I may want more of that. We'll see. But can I combine these guys? So let's get our power. I like having the flux thing, so I can just like get stuff up and running, and then I'll run cabling later. I like that you have like a flux battery slot. That is cool. So like, I'm guessing this is enchanted books input. This is input items, and that's your enchanted items. So can I do this and this? The answer seems to be no. So the enchantment applicator will only put the enchanted book on the item. It won't allow me to combine two enchanted books. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Learning. Uh, anvil, please. I'm going to need another one, like an actual anvil, because I don't think... Uh, I'll be able to do this, Oops. right? So I'll have to do multi-shot and multi-shot. What I'm gonna need is my, that little book, dude. Let's get a few levels here. So multi-shot and multi-shot needs an enchantment cost of three. So let me make sure I have exactly three levels. And this will also be probably three levels. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, and then, like, unbreaking, I could bump up to three. Okay. That looks cool. So then, um, what I could do is make myself, or, or get myself... Well, you have some... Okay. If I put gold, because gold has, like, a higher enchantability chance, right? So if I wanted to get... A decent enchant, I could do that, and that got me unbreaking three and mending. Neat. Mending's the one that repairs it, right? So I'm gonna remove you. So you're not really a super useful machine right now, but you will be probably later. Cool, and then I could re-enchant this. That got me another unbreaking three. And then re-enchant this. Got me another unbreaking three. Haha, <laughs> look at this. Unbreaking three and Curse of Vanishing? I don't know what that means. What mod adds that? Protection four, that's cool. And another Curse of Vanishing. This is kind of neat. Protection four. So then if we wanted to combine our two Protection fours, right? That's an enchantment cost of three, or four. So, protection four, protection four gets me... Is that the highest protection goes up to? Okay, it doesn't go to five. Oh, you guys are going to yell at me in the comments about that one, aren't you? Oh, I'm not looking forward to that go live. Okay. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Hey, for the record, I could have edited that out, but I didn't. So... Yeah. So then if I want protection on my chest plate, right, I can put you plus protection four. I guess you need some essence as well. Neat. Okay. So now I've got a protection four chest plate. Nice. I like that. Okay, cool. And uh, actually you have like the, okay. So if I wanted unbreaking, so what's the top tier of unbreaking? Is it three? Yeah. So if I want you guys together, boom. Nice, I like this. All right, all right, I can get down with that. Uh, so I don't know what Curse of Vanishing does. I have no idea if you're going in there. Uh, we've got another, I want Unbreaking actually on, and I wouldn't mind having more Mendings. Uh, I wonder if there's like ways to like duplicate. 
stuff. Not really. I could use the um, Batania method of enchanting things, which doesn't use up the book, but we'll take a look at that another time. We're not in a position where, like, we'd have to do a lot of Batania stuff before we can get to that. Uh, but for now, let's just do Unbreaking on um, my, my legs and my helmet. So we'll do Unbreaking on you. And we'll do Unbreaking on the helmet. Cool. So now I've got those guys. Uh, what else do we have? Unbreaking, unbreaking, mending. Protection three. Can I combine three and two? That'll just get me another three, won't it? Um, and I've got projectile protection. So let's do a few more of these guys, I guess. So what I'm going to do is borrow you and you. Oh, wait, how, what? <laughs> Holding four. Nice. Well, that's cool. That tank now holds a lot more liquid. Not my intended purpose, but I guess it works. Uh, so you got thorns in mending. That's, that's kind of nifty. And what did you get? Unbreaking two? Yeah, I don't think I need you. Yeah, no idea what this curse thing is. So now I should be able to combine protection three. I had another protection three, didn't I? Mending will go in here for now. Thorns. I'm going to hang out of that. Curse of Vanishing. So protection three. I know I had another protection three. Yep, there it is. So I can combine these two guys now. Neat. And then you can get applied to put you on my helmet. Why not? Protection four. And I wouldn't mind projectile protection maybe on my legs. So I'm like looking up what these curses are because apparently it's like a new thing. Um, and I'm, I'm guessing it's probably a little bit OP that I'm allowed to remove these curses. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. We're having fun. So I'm, uh, I'm just trying to get a projectile protection here, and I'm having, like, zero luck, but we'll see how it goes back in a few if I get projectile protection. If not, then I'll live. Oh, well, I'm just going to put... Uh, that's protection. That's protection. I'm going to put projectile two on my legs. Does that sound cool? I think so. Because I, I enchanted a ton of golden chest plates and no such luck. Now, I could put mending on these guys, which I think makes them repair using experience. So that might be cool to do. So that, like, even though they're on unbreaking, maybe having mending on the three of them wouldn't be a terrible thing. So mending, mending, and mending. And if I wanted to, I could also put thorns. Neat. Zoom. Look at that. Oh man, this is this is good times right here, guys. Woohoo! I'm liking it. I should run like a proper power line over here and stuff, but we'll probably just circle back at that at some point. Um So for now, let's put this away. Let's put this away. I might you know what I'm gonna do for sure? Like is come down here. I'm gonna store all my essence. In here, so you've got a little bit of essence. Boom! Now you have uh, that. Well, hello. Thought you would swap that. Okay, so now you're capable of holding a really large amount of essence, almost a million millibuckets, which is cool. And you'll do dark room and, and making of essence. And stuff. Cool. All right. So uh, now that we've got some good armor that's well protected. Let's go visit the Twilight Forest and see what we can do there. So I just got the advancement made Twilight Forest. I don't know why it took so long, but I got it. Uh, so now advancements. Oh, hello. There's the Twilight Forest advancements. Thank you. I knew that was a thing. I don't know why I had to come in here three times in order for it to trigger the you went to the Twilight Forest advancement. But hey, I did it. So that's cool. So now we can see. Okay, cool. Uh, so these are your enchantments. Uh, so I think the first thing is to hunt some local wild wildlife and then get a magic map. But there's other things we can do that aren't necessary. But this is, I think, the progression chain that we want to go down. Cool. 
So this guy, hunt some local wildlife. So basically we want to like look around. <gasps> Little forest bunny. I want that morph, but I feel like it would be harsh. Tiny birds. I know I'm a monster, but hey, first off, uh, we we hunted some local wildlife like we were told to do uh, because that was the achievement that we just got. Uh, but we need to get a raven's feather. So we have to find a raven uh, in order to get a map. Now I will use flight throughout some parts of the Twilight Forest just to get around more quickly. Oh, that's what we're looking for, actually. This is really perfect that we found this right here. Ravens are typically found around these things, and there is a raven. Hello. What's my uh, looting situation on this sword? Not so much, huh? It's all right. I got two feathers from that raven. Nice. I might go throw uh, looting on this sword. That might be a smart idea. That's cool, but we got that. Uh, the other thing we need is torch berries, apparently. So to, to, to use this, we need torch berries from the Twilight Forest and glowstone dust. Oh, another raven. Hello, please, yes. Do you want to respond to the fact that I'm clicking on you, or do you just want to pretend I'm not? Because I'm cool either way. Torchberries will be found underground, and I think they are found right here. These are what torchberries look like. Torchberry plant. Was was clicking on that the wrong thing to do? No, it was right. Cool. Uh, I'm going to get a couple extra. We might be having a little bit of lag. Like I said, world gen is a little bit laggy in Twilight Forest, but once it finishes generating, it should be fine. I do want to go in there and fight that, but before I do that, I want to open up, or, or, or I want to go home... And I want to make my first magic map. So to do that, we're going to need one of these. I'm going to put away the rest that I have. Uh, and we're going to do that with about seven more paper. Set about seven more paper. Cool. Blank magic map. Sweet. Uh, while I'm at it, how am I for lapis? I am so good on lapis. Let me tell you. Uh, tool station, you. I just want to have all the in, all, all all the luck. Cool. I'm not gonna boost its damage too much. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but for now, I'm good, right? So let's pop back to the Twilight Forest now that we've got a nice lucky sword. And that's basically looting for me. And let's take a look at the map that I've now made. Ta-da! Right-click it, activates it, and boom! Nice! So we can see on the map, there's indications of all different things. So basically every little icon on the map is going to be uh, some kind of dungeon-y thing, right? Uh, now if we take a look at our achievements... Why are you not marked complete? Okay, cool. Uh, I guess the next thing, Naga Hunter. Slay the Naga in its forest courtyard and obtain the Naga skill to overcome the barrier magic surrounding the Lich's Tower. Cool, so we have to go do that. So in here, I believe this is a Naga courtyard. Nice. Hello, Naga. I should have a ranged weapon at this point. Ow. Come here, you. Ugh. You hurt. So this is the Naga boss. Some of these bosses are harder than others. I do want to check something real quick. Uh, it's a little bit slow. See, Twilight Forest is using up a lot of tick rate. It's probably world gen still. That's all right. It'll settle down soon. It's not terrible. Come here, Naga. You're not... The Naga's not terrible. He is not a hard boss to kill. But he's also the first boss. And I'm not using a crazy overpowered sword. I could have gotten, like, quartz or something, but... Ouch. You actually have a pretty good knockback on you, don't you, Naga? Ah! Ouch. Come here, you. You're almost dead. Ah! 
I like how parts of his body disappear as you damage him. That is that is cool. Gotcha. Naga Hunter. Goal achieved. Nice. So uh, now if we take a look at our achievements, we've completed Naga Hunter. That's cool. I like it. Uh, now we can we can craft armor with Naga skills. Uh, but the next thing we can do now is go to a Lich King's tower. And you'll note that like this Lich King, we might see him on the map. I don't know. Did we find a Lich? Yeah, there he is. He's that one is the Lich King. So basically the way it works is I wouldn't be able to get into the Lich King's tower until I killed the Naga. There's like a magical barrier around the tower. But now that I've gotten the achievement of Naga Hunter, it's going to let me into that tower. Sweet. Uh, let's go home. Because I've achieved the first of the objectives. That's cool. I just want to take a quick look around here. Now nah, we're good. Let's go. Whoosh. I'm going to place my Naga skills away. Epic Shader grab bag, solidified experience. That Epic Shader thing is from um, uh, Immersive Engineering. It's pretty much set up so that every boss drops one. So other mobs that use bosses. And now we have a Naga trophy, which I'm going to stick right there. Ta-da! Neat. I like it. And you guys did okay on in terms of taking damage. Nice. And you might even repair some of your stuff, which is cool. All right. Back in a minute. By the way, uh, the reason I really like the tiny bird morph is I'm pretty sure... Oh, really? Come on, tiny bird. You were the chosen one. I thought Tiny Bird would let me into that spacing, but I guess not. I don't think the Forest Raven is smaller. He does actually seem smaller. But still... Oh! Oh, hello. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's cool. So he can go on the sides, but he can't go above it or below it, it would seem. Okay. So he can't go above and below Red Sun Energy Flux Ducks, but he can go on the side of them, which is pretty cool. Okay. So what I'm going to do is favorite the Forest Raven and unfavorite the Tiny Bird and the Rabbit so that now I can easily... Yeah, I might even unfavorite the Bat because I don't think I need him either, to be totally honest. Cool. That's neat. So that'll just help me with some of my navigations around here. All right, so with that, guys, uh, we've gotten and killed our first Twilight Forest boss. How neat is that? I like it. Um, I think it's getting pretty close to wrapping up point here. Uh, I, I don't really have time to do much. Like, I could maybe walk to the Twilight Lich King boss, but I probably won't be able to do much more than that. So I think what we'll do is probably wrap up the episode here and come back next time and explore a little bit more of the Twilight Forest, which is cool. Uh, let's see how my thing is doing in the basement. And by the way, I'm going to borrow you for a minute. You guys might have noticed, but I actually got the next tier, Signalum Flux Ducks, instead of Redstone Energy. I got the next tier of them uh, because I found that accelerating this thing wasn't working so well. So I'm at 28 still, so let's accelerate you. I can accelerate it better because it's getting more power more quickly. So it, it still uses more power than it gets from the signal and flux ducts, but it definitely lets me hold right-click on it for a little bit more. And I really want to get that, that thing going. Um, the crystal laser lens would be cool to have. So maybe I'll do this a little bit off camera, and when we come back next episode, we can get the crystal laser lens installed and then explore the Twilight Forest a little bit more? We'll see. It depends how long I feel like holding right click here. For now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time and we'll explore the Twilight Forest a little bit more. Maybe hunt down some bosses and it'll be fun. All right, guys, take it easy.